Hi, I'm Rob Day, a Principal Technical Support Engineer at MuleSoft. Today we're going to talk about how to capture a HAR or HTTP archive file. It could well be that when you're browsing the internet you get some kind of issue on the web page. To diagnose these issues, it's often easier to capture the HAR file or the conversation between the web browser and the web server. And this session is going to show you how to do that. To demonstrate how to capture network traffic, we're going to be using Chrome and Windows. Of course, you don't have to use Windows. Chrome will work pretty much the same way, no matter what operating system you use. First of all, we're going to choose a relatively blank area of the screen. Next, we're going to right click. This should bring up this inspect option. Next, we're going to click on network. In this pane, this is where all the network traffic is going to be captured. It could well be that you find that the pane is too small to easily read the screen, or that it takes up too much of the web page to easily navigate through it. We can separate this pane out by clicking here and here, and then that traffic will become full screen. To undo that, simply click on this icon here, and it'll go back to how it was. As you browse through the web page, you may find that network capture resets every time you click on a link. To prevent that from happening, click on the preserve log button here and make sure it's ticked. It could well be that your browser is also remembering some pages and isn't showing the full traffic between the server and the clients. To make sure you see everything, click on this Disable Cache button here if it's not already ticked. Once you've got it set up the way you like, simply continue browsing until you reproduce the issue. Once the issue is reproduced, simply click on this download icon here. Give the file a name and then click on save. You can also right click anywhere on the page here and then you can click on save all as HAR with content and that will do the same thing. And this is how you do the same thing in Firefox, a little bit different but pretty much the same process. If we open up the HAR file in a text editor, we can see it's in simple JSON format. It is true that if you record a HAR file while logging into a web page, it may contain sensitive information, such as your password. If you want your password removed from the HAR file, you can simply remove it inside the text editor like so. In this case, here's the information where the password has been sent to the web server. It's not a real username and password. However, if it were, you can simply remove it and replace it with a random number of stars. Once done, simply save the file. And that's it. In closing, I want to thank you for watching this session on how to capture a HAR file. Please do leave a comment. Please check out the links in the description. And please don't forget to check out our other videos. I hope to see you again soon. Thank you.